Welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how to get the best armor early on as a new player in Fallout 76. Smash that like button, hit that notification bell and let's get straight into it. So what we are going to do is come from Vault 76 and we're going to travel down in this location. You probably have done this already and you've come to the Overseer's Camp and the Wayward. So once we have come to the Overseer's Camp, you're going to want to take note of the surrounding area just because some camps can be placed there and that's something you want to bear in mind. I'm going to explain why later, but for now, just pay attention to everything surrounding you you're going to come to the left and we're going to head up in this direction you're going to want to be level 15 at the very least just because this armor only upgrades every five levels so we're going to see these two brotherhood of steel npcs and my build i'm a stealth build so i can do more damage once i am in stealth and you can just take these out as simple as that so these are the armor pieces that we're going to be looking for so the brotherhood of steel left leg and the brotherhood of steel right leg and you see that's half of our body almost done but the brotherhood of steel comes with a modification that the normal combat armor doesn't so you can see this is the normal combat armor that isn't modified and then this is the left version a uh, left leg version of the combat armor of the brotherhood of steel that is modified you can see the massive difference and i know i'm level 50 so it probably doesn't really make that much sense but when you are in the early game, little modifications such as that can be a massive improvement. So I'm going to show you how now to jump worlds and I'm going to show you how to farm this location. So once we have looted everything, you're going to then come in this direction back to the overseer's camp. And like I said, bear in mind of everything that's around you. Reason being is because we're going to server jump. And sometimes it puts you back in the same server. So if you come back here and the camp that was there before is still there, you're probably in the same world. So just jump back out and jump into a new world and it should reset. So how do we do this? We go to the menu and we go to quit. And then you go quit to main menu. I'm essentially just going to talk you through this bit. At least that way you guys have an understanding of how to do this. Sorry for the loading times, but at least that where you can see that I'm doing it all in one go and it's so so simple but some people do get frustrated with this because they think it don't work so as we do this you can see that we're still loading into the world and I'm just gonna keep doing this until we end up getting a full set so this is something that you can do extremely early on and especially if you just started the game and you took the level 20 boost this is something you can get from the get-go so now as we've run back here what we're going to notice is a different time of day slightly so we're going to come back to this location and if i don't see an npc's head loading in i know this is still the same world sometimes you might come here and someone else has taken them out but don't worry at all you can just jump into another world and start again this is so so simple and it's something you definitely want to do there's also a good amount of resources you can get from them as well so obviously you can get some rounds you can get some decent armor you get the brotherhood soldier suit but this does vary there is different variants you can get from this as well a decent weapon to start you off with combat rifle combat sniper and you can also farm the metal gear as well as well as some stem packs so if you guys are in need of stem packs this is definitely a must so if you're just after the junk and the loot what you can do as well so this is really really beneficial is you can farm this area over and over again and then come back to this workbench before you jump into a new server and scrap everything essentially so if i wanted to clear all of that i can i get molded plastic raw cloth raw leather a really good way to farm stuff and same with this if i just wanted to get some decent pieces of scrap metal i can just keep doing this over and over again so if this video has helped you please make sure you smash that like button you hit that notification bell and i'll hopefully see you in the next one peace